What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the new updates for Anima 4.0. Today we're gonna go over all the new features that you guys as designers can use in this amazing plugin. You can use the Anima plugin in any of your favorite UI, UX, prototyping or design applications. And we have a fully designed website and animated website with the click of a button. I was set on a journey to recreate the Valorant website from scratch in Adobe XD and with the click of a button create the website that we see here. And so what we're gonna do here is that we're gonna just jump into our Adobe XD file right here and we're not gonna spend too much time designing this. You guys don't need to see that. But what I do want to showcase to you is how easily it is to from zero to 100, design something fully custom with the use of Anima and how easily it is for us designers to work within our favorite platform of choice, click a single button and have it uploaded into the Anima platform and have our amazing design in the platform and where we can simply with a click of a button share the link with our extended team, AKA developers, and have them go through what it is that we've designed, click on specific assets and export those assets as HTML, CSS, and or React. So with that said, let's go ahead and take a look at this. Basically what I did here and how the Anima plugin works, I have it in my left side of Adobe XD here. Obviously to download it, you would just go to plugins, browse, type in Anima, enter, and of course, we close to them five stars, you know what I'm saying? I have all of my elements, my text boxes, I have all my call to actions. Simply, all we have to do is click on our plugins, Anima, we're clicking on our artboard. Let's say we're doing this for the first time. Click on preview in browser, uploading designs, crafting, draft, and all I have to do is hit open. Boom, there we go. And it shows that we have our animations and as I scroll down, we have animating in from the left and right with our text. We have another video here as well. As we scroll down, we have more of our elements coming in as we've decided to animate it. And I'll show you guys exactly how we've done that. Very simply, if we take a look at our left-hand panel, we have our flow, we have breakpoints, we have hover effects, entrance animations, video gifts, Lottie, form and text inputs, and embed code. With that said, we can click on any element that we want to animate. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to entrance animation, and I want it to animate up. So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna click the preset, move up, and I get a couple things here in the CSS before transition and the CSS after transition. I can choose from ease in and out. I am not gonna do a delay for right now, but I am gonna turn the duration to 0.4. And I'm gonna check this checkbox, begin on scroll into screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and save it. And I can go ahead and I've already done that for the rest of my elements. That's why when in our example here, if I go ahead and scroll back to the top and I reload, everything animates in, boom, boom, boom. As I scroll down, things come in. Literally, I've done the same animation or the same entrance animation for all the elements. I've either asked them to come in from the left or come in from the right or have them move up. Super simple. Now, let's take a look at this because this is all for product teams, okay? Now we're gonna get into the nitty gritty. Collaboration is super simple in here. I can click anywhere, leave a comment. Yo, this is hot! tells exactly who sent it, what the comment is, and where exactly they left it on. But the coolest thing, and why this is the best for product teams, is we can go into our code feature here, and we can click as a developer, working with the designer, we can click on any element here, demo this with our navigation bar here, and we have HTML and CSS that populate for us immediately. So basically, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take our code from the element that we've selected in our code feature, we're gonna click copy with this HTML, and we're gonna go to code pen here, and we're going to copy the HTML from Anima, we're gonna go back to Anima, and we're gonna grab the CSS. And we're doing this with our navigation. Okay, so we have our HTML structure. We see that it's loaded in here. We're gonna load in our CSS. Boom, there we go. We have our nice navigation bar, super simple. We have our elements, we have our images. Super clean code, not like your other spaghetti code programs. This is the game changer for product teams, having designers work with developers. Now, like I said, what the really cool thing is for designers, if you're trying to take something that you've created in your artboards and have it come to life as a real coded prototype or real website, what you can do is go over to your project settings, click on that. It tells you how many personal projects you have, your archived, or you can delete the project you're currently on. It tells you how many people you have invited to this particular project, or you can invite anybody to the project here. Now, public links. This is when we have our public links here. It says morning, moon, 
and blah 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 <laughs> and then hosted on animaapp.io this is where we can change that subdomain here add a domain let's say we own it elsewhere we can simply just type it in here click add and it will take us through the process of making sure that what we've created in anima is on that existing domain we also have some other site information we can add a favicon cover image for when exactly we share this link to our friends family or really whoever these are the things that are going to show up along with our url we can also have a mobile web app icon so if anyone saves your page or what exactly you have your prototype on their phone they also have an app icon as well, which is awesome. You can add SEO settings, which is really nice. You can also add analytics, Google, an <laughs> you can add Google analytics and the like. And we also have form submissions. So if you create a landing page for a product or service or what have you, and you're intaking data, such as emails, you can actually have an input field. And if you guys remember, it is one of our settings in Adobe XD on the left hand side here, we can put any sort of box for example and we can add click this plus and put forms and text input if we click forms and text input any box or selection that we want to become a submission form it will give us a couple options as to what exactly we want to have in that submission form. from a designer's point of view this is absolutely amazing when it comes to collaboration for others in our team that's why this is like the game changing platform for product teams and as individual designers i have to say because this is an absolute game changer for me when i want to create a landing page or some sort of experience or prototype very quickly i can quickly design just how i would normally in my favorite product of choice adobe xd create it in a single artboard or multiple artboards and even use exactly what i would do to prototype my experience in Adobe XD, Anima is 100% compatible with auto animate. So anything you animate in Adobe XD also translates into the Anima platform itself. And to have that all coded and be able to navigate your coded prototype with a click of a button is absolutely game changing, not only to product teams, but also to the individual designer for those who want to work rapidly. Developers can come in to the Anima platform pick and choose specific elements that have been built by the designer and spit that out into code an HTML and CSS perspective, but react as well, which is absolutely amazing. So with that said, guys, I really look forward to seeing what you guys create with Anima. I will see you on the next one. Peace.